Alright, I got another funny story. Like I said, it's not, it didn't, this didn't anger me. It, it, it just shows how crazy and, and dumb and brainwashed these people are. Right, so it shows, I guess they told them something about me. You know, the lies they spread, and that's a fact. I got to do a video about how I didn't even realize when they kept saying lie. I, I, you know, I, I was thinking like little high school shit. But no, the, the lies they tell affect your life, get you arrested or put in a hospital or just, just a whole bunch of shit. Lose your job, lose your spouse, lose all types of shit. Real devious, nasty lies. See, they, they, under, they needed to emphasize the word lie. For people who don't lie like me, I, 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 I didn't know how serious it was. But anyway, but now, like I said, it's over. so the, the girl last night, right? Like I said, everything had calmed down after I made that video. I posted yesterday from the job site, and they really did change. And plus, me and the dude got into a little just conversation. Seriously, it was. We had to have a conversation across the country. You know how they, all the Democrats keep seeing that shit on the news. Conversation conversation <clears throat> start a conversation so anyway uh it's it's just me and her she finna go right and uh you know i like to joke a lot like i said it makes the job go faster that's why i work so hard it it, it, it does really help things go faster uh so anyway i leaned on some of the stuff that we were doing and you know it was, it's later so you know we're tired so i made a joke and i started saying lean on me you know lean on me you know and it, to, to our generation that's a, it, it's a joke it's not a joke like how the you know from the movie most of us were in school when the, that movie you know that that's what made morgan freeman famous i mean really kicked it off for him most of us knew him from electric company from when we were real little so we already knew who he was we did but you know the world didn't know and, you know, that movie, if you was a, you know, a school kid at that time, that movie was funny. Even though it was a real movie, Joe Clark was a real person. And uh, he really did those things. And, you know, we always be sitting in lines, you know, because especially if you a guy getting in trouble. And, you know, the, the scenes that were funny were the serious scenes. The guys, when they was, he made them in the bathroom sing the school song, Fairy Side. So, anyway, she started, I just bust out. I said, said, I started singing the chorus from the Club Nouveau song, right? Lean on me. And I was joking. I thought she would catch on. Then I said, uh, they used to call me Crazy Joe. Now they call me Batman. And that's one of the most famous lines in that movie. Right? Remember when he came around a bat and he had gotten in trouble for putting chains on the doors? Because it is a fire hazard. And uh, she said, ooh, no. You know, she look up like, you know, that ooh stuff. Ooh, get away. Yeah, like I said, something crazy. Uh, no, because she know the song. But she, and I'm like, you're not that much younger than me. How the fuck you didn't see this? That's lame as hell. And you up there trying to make me feel stupid and look stupid. And that's a mo one of the most famous lines. You know, I don't know about him. At least in black movie history. Everybody know that. He used to call me. I'm like, you dumb bitch. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Stop. With the, don't listen to these people. They got y'all stupid. Y'all not cool. You're not cool. You're not going to be Instagram stars. You're not. You're, you're lame. You're lame as fuck. Nobody's coming after you. There's no white supremacy. You're lame. That's why you're broke. You're fucking lame. Lame ass niggas and niggas. Lame. That's like when that was when that movie was out. That was like everywhere. The, the black comedians. You know, I, I can't remember if Living Color did a skit about it. You know, in Living Color with Keenans, the Keenans, Wayne's, Wayne's. But I'm like, how lame can you fucking be? As I used to say in high school, you know, when you get gonna get in trouble, you, you know, because you black school, you you argued, you had guys that was like Joe Clark, you get paddling and all that shit. We get paddling, <laughs> so uh, it, it, was, it was like right on time. And you know, the, the Steel, the one who was crying on the roof, it, that's not his character name, but we call him Steel because he was in the movie Juice with Tupac, you know. So it's Steel, I'm like y'all are. God, and y'all want to rule the country, the world? You no, know, you're, you're lame. You don't know how to work. You don't know how to lead. You, you're just lame. You got excuses, crybabies, everybody after you. No, fuck no, you're not going to be in charge. You think because you put a black woman in charge, who you got black women who's on our side, and they're not like y'all. They're really not. 
You know, all this trying to look like a profession, act like you're the adults. Remember the Democrats kept saying, we're the, the adult center. And look what's happening to the country. Look what's happening in Democrat cities. All these black folks getting killed when the adults, air quotes, are in charge. The fuck out of here. Well, let me go. I don't want to be speeding in this rain.